pikipiki ilipita ya kwanza ikapita ya pili ikapita the third one unyenye ndio huyo lakini mimi niliona mimi ndiye ameona aliniona ukweli sababu mimi nilifanya hivi na yeye alifanya hivyo hivyo na nikamuona ndio huyo na yeye ni corona ameinama hivi hii hata hii kupita hii gari ilikuwa pande hii na yeye nikasema sasa nimefika mwisho juu kwa nyumba hakuna kitu nimeacha kusema ukweli Nimeacha bibi na mtoto. Na ni mgonjwa. Huyo mwingine ameshagonjeka. Yule sasa hizi ndiye anamalizia madawa. Hata huo pili sieti alienda hospitali. Yale madawa huyo mdogo alipewa ndio ameshare. Ya joto ndio walikuja kushare. Sorry. Kuna fungi wanga za zingine mpaka mlango inangolewa mwenyewe anakuja na ngoa mabati tujua atujaripa rent. Ndota nafukuzwa na kaa kwa nyumba. Hata afastoni wangu sasa hivi siko na yeye sababu ya shida na sijiwezi yani. Sisainondi lakini since then hata hakuna help napewa wazazi mimi vile naongea hivi. Oh. Sometimes hata kuongea na mzazi inaweza chukua hata mwezi. Mimi kama kefa hako kanyambane. Na kuomba Mr. Rice nimekuchagua nilikuwa nafikiri shida zitaniondokea. Na sasa ninaona zinaniondokea sababu nilipata ruhusa ya kuonana na wewe tuliangalia macho kwa macho hivi. Lakini sikupata nafasi ya kuongelesha. Che naomba kutoa kwako Rais naomba ajira Hi guys good to see you again welcome to Seraphine TV and uh, today it's uh, I've missed you it's a beautiful day I'm here with the real, real nice stuff as usual. Subscribe before I tell you what you're going to talk about. Remember to subscribe, like this channel, share the video that you're going to share. I know you like it, you like this kind of content. And today on Matters Family and uh, Society Pressures and our livelihood currently and with the COVID pressures, I have a guest, a very special guest. I know you've had, you've seen him <laughs> on other social media platforms. But today I'm bringing him live. He will be here and I will allow him to introduce himself and hope you'll enjoy his story. He's going to share his story, how he's come, where, how far he's been through, what he has gone through, and the pressures he's encountered. Mbaka ikam skuma fike hiyo level to do what he did, because we're going to tell you what he did. <laughs> yes, it's that guy that uh, blocked. <laughs> there is the right word, like blocked the president himself. No, it calls for a very courageous man to do this. So I'll allow him to tell us how far it went and how we reached this far. So allow me to introduce him. He will tell us who he is, his stuff, as we roll into his story. Hope you like this kind of content. Join us in our conversation. Yes, Ebutu Ambie, unaitwa nani? Eh, unatoka wapi? Eh, umekujaje Nairobi? Ebutu anza kwanza utuambie wewe ni nani? <laughs> okay, Kenyans. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Kefa Agoka Nyambane kutoka Kisi Marani Kegogi mahali pe kunaitwa kama Bongari village that hapo ndio nimezaliwa Bongari nikagrow hapo baada ya kufanya mtihani wa KCSE nikajituma nije Nairobi nitafute kazi ambapo sinzi wakati huo hakuna cha nimepokea iko hivyo we he, he did it so fast eh? i'm sure someone is still wondering eh hey, ni speed sana hata tujaelewa amesema anatoka kisi amezaliwa kisi and yes he did his form for kcse from, in, from kenyoro high school ni product ya kenyoro watu yeah. kenyoro hope <laughs> i'm from kenyoro high <laughs> kenyoro high which year 2008 2008 yeah under uh, Ishmael Angweni the principal 
Where? Principal must be hearing this. Mwanafunzi wako wako hapa. Do you mind telling us what you got from four? Since that was due to shida ndogo ndogo, but nilijaribu ile nyalikuwa na weza. Due to up, ile kufuzo shule, challenges, nini. But I tried my best. Wazazi ya taenga wako kuwa na ile ya nyona weza. Sometimes nilikuwa ta inanibidi ni fukuzwe, so inabidi ni hassle, nona. Niko nje. By that time, I think the principal could understand. Na mbapo ilikuwa sheria tu za shu. Lakini ilifika mahali ya kanielewa. Ikabidi ya kan support. Ile kuniacha. Aniarakishi kama wengine. Sababu alikuja kujua the background that enya nilikuwa nimetoka. Ndiyo nikafika hapo, nikajaribu, motisha vile naweza. I got a C+. C plus, that was no. a good grade. Yeah. C plus, a good grade. Na vinyo mefanya yes. explanation. Yeah. Mostly, people take a lot of time kutuambia kama mepata i. Ndi wana explain mara, weather, masumuko, mafuriko. A C plus is a good grade. That's good. Very good grade. I Congratulations, tried. by the way. Thank you, thank you. With those you. kind of challenges, kama ni uko. So, unatuambia family, pa maparo, ilikuwa tu ni mm. life yeah, ya tu wakali. Yeah, too. Just, ile tu farmers, tu wakutafuta ah. tu ile just to earn ile kitu na zaingia kwa meza, anona? Mm, at least just food. Ya, yeah, food. Mm, na mm. siyeti ile tinifama, sisi hakuna majani chai, hakuna kahawa, oh, oh. shamba ni ndogo, ile mm. hata iza half a eka. Mm. No, no, ile kidogo three. mepata. Kidogo, tu ilo mepata. Food. Alafu mkwa wengi kwa family? Ama no. umezaliwa peke yako? No, 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 no. <laughs> I have <laughs> brothers and sisters. Ah, great. Yeah. Ah, great. I have three brothers. Ah. Me being inclusive. Mm. Yeah, I'm the last born. Ah, ah I'm yes. Toto. Yes, I have two sisters. The elder being a sister, mm. Mrs. Sophia. Ah, nice. Yeah, the second one is Mr. Moffat Nyambane. Mm. The third one is Haron mm. Nyamboki. The fourth is Edna. And I'm the last. Wow, a big family. Big family indeed. Yeah. So, sasa ukamaliza form four. Ukasema sasa ujitoe inje, life pale home. Kaona hata shamba ya kulima umesema amuna kubwa. Kusama sasa ujitupe na hii, utoto kuja Nairobi. Tuambi ulikuja, jia uliamua tu kuja ama you are invited. No, no, no. Najua wakati ule, once kama kwenu kukochini, nona, maybe ujawai kuwa maali kama Nairobi. Nona, ukimaliza tu shule hivi, we mwenye unatarajia tu, unafikiri. Najua that is a time ulikuwa unasikia jina Nairobi. Unaona kumbe Nairobi, ukifika huko kila maali kumea kwa lami. Asa. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so now, land of honey land and milk. Of, yeah. <laughs> so, I for Maliza, and the Kaskia and Zangu, while I was in New Amefika, who was an opportunity, the Kabidi San Gakuja, in Changamke Kidogo, so I fell in your money, Makambia Savi Barua, no, no. Na shamba kuna nyenge kwa hata kuna mahali pa kufanya kazi ile ni kuna shamba fulani. Juhu hata I did agriculture, unawana? Ningejituma kwa kilimo. I thought it was part of your combination subject. Yeah, it was my combination, yes. Wow. So ningejituma hata kwa kilimo. Ambapo saa nilipona hapa hakuna, unawana, sometimes unaweza kuwa pale, hata upatu mejipatu mekua thief. Unawana, that's peer influence. Unapatu unashitikia na watu wengine wanya hata wajamaliza shule. Sahabu wenzako wale walikuwa na haja washa, eh? Washa enda. Wenye mulikuwa nao, ya hata tuseme ya colleagues. Sa inabidi na OG2. So I came through a friend of mine. Hali ni ayalika, nkakuja, tukakaa kidogo kidogo. Nona. Baada ya kukaa kiasi kiasi ikawa kuna hizi differs. Nona, ikawa saa tume differ kidogo. Amba po kila mtu saa hindi ya nalipa rent nini. Nona, ya likuwa nakakazi kwa kampuni hapo IPZ. Nona. So anakushikilia shikilia. So anakushikilia shikilia, lakini ikawa yumefika mali. Saa kawa, uwe mwenye uwe umenda shule, ukiona mahali pa yumefika penye unawana ni kama kuna shida kidogo na bidu ujiondoe kiasi. So at that time hili kwa nafanya jua kali tu hapa. A place called Laksama, ya in Nairobi. By then, igethesha, ime advance, hili kwenye tu agethesha, baba ndogo. Baba ndogo, haa. Ime kuje, ime advance, maka saizi yote inaito Laksa. So hili kuje, ika mezwa. So sasa ukuja uliingia baba ndogo, and hili kwa kukwa na pesa kuenda college. Yes. So definitely, mambo ya kuenda kole was out of. Iyo ilikuwa hapo. Si kitu hata ya kufikiria. College hata si kuwa na fikiria sababu. Hata ukifikiria, utafikiria aje college yenyewe na we mwenyewe ujuezi. No, no. Na hata ya high school ilikuwa tu ila. Exactly. Sometimes wajan kukwambio kwa ilikuwa na zikurudu kwa high school. I remember hata Mr. Principal na ezongea. My mother ilifika mwakati na fukuzu wa now and then. Ikabidi my mother hawa na ingia kwa vijiji. Sorry. No, no. Hawe anatuwa. Na hii, sukuna chakula chayekinaleta shule, either maindi, ama nini. 
mamao baada ya kupata kapito kidogo ilibidi ye mwenyewe mm. hao wanaenda ananunua sukuma kwa maboma hao anasupply shule ananunua na nunua na supply kwa shu ndio isimamie ndio angalau unajua ukienda pale ukiaka yeah. no, so, alijaribu sana kini kitoka shule anantuma kwa boma fulani anaambia anaenda ambia fulani hivi na hivi na hivi sababu by then nakumbuka walikuwa na pima na kilo mm. oh, sorry mm. sasa tuko na hii kwa huyo beste ulikuwa na yeye vitu haiku work out haiku work out mm -hmm. ili work for the so start time, yeah. lakini si eti simwekei kwa ubaya ni binadamu yeah, no, no. simwekei kwa ubaya na ni binadamu mm. Mm. Si eti ilienda eti ile eti sasa eti amenifukuza lakini mm. ilibidi saa changes lazima zikuwe kidogo hata kama ndugu yako mwenyewe mnakosana na wewe una kitu ya kuleta labda leo uende wasolu uspate mm. kesho uende hivyo hivyo mm. sasa yeye ndio breadwinner naona inafika so, mahali penye nikakuja tu ikakuwa hivyo nikaanza kujipanga pole pole mm. i remember being in high school mm. i had mm, a certain lady naona usitambie ubanza kwenda huko eh unakumbuka tu wakati huo Eh yeah, nilikuwa na mrembo mm. sababu ya tabia yangu vile ilikuwa naye tukapendana hivyo hivyo mm. mapenzi iko wazi huwezi kataa nayo uh -huh. so <laughs> na ngoja kusikia kwenye tunaelekea na hiyo ndio tulianza naye kutoka kule mm. ilikuwa tu just dating uh -huh. by then si hatu kwa tu so married and like any man mm. yeah. lazima udate ukiwa shule uh -huh. oh no. Na sio lazima but yeye utaniambia siku nyingine. Yes, yes, so yes, mrembo yes, yes. connect na yeye vile ulikuja connect na yeye kuja na yeye na yeye ndio huyo ikawa tumeachana sana unajua sasa mimi sasa familia ilikuwa chini mm. wakati tuliachana shule hivyo hapo mm. ndio nilimuona mara ya mwisho oh yeah no disconnect mm. yeye ikawa amebaki kule na mimi nimeenda the other side sasa so, unaona atakuwa in touch mm. so ikakuwa hivyo ikakuwa hivyo so, before tupatane yes. kuna story hapo katikati uh -huh. so baada ya hiyo nilipoona rafiki amefanya hivyo mm. and mimi nikaamua sana nilikuwa na small shillings unaona mm. nilikuwa around na it was 800 shillings By then nyumba kuna kulikuwa na kijiji kwa hapo baba ndogo mm. baba ndogo hapo mugure mm. nikachukua nyumba ya matope mhm mm sasa uli, ukiachana ube sasa ulienda kurent hao yeah nilenda kurent hao baada ya kurent siko job ni ile tu ku hustle tu yeah ile tu ku hustle tu mm. so ikawa nimechukua keja hapo ni nyumba ukiangalia hiyo kijiji hata size bado as long as unalala mm. si watu wanaishi hapo mm. na una kitu so you have to do it there ndio uweze kaendelea pole pole ndogo mdogo tu ikakuja ikakuja iwe na hustle unapata saa zingine kama hakuna mm. naenda kuna mama fulani hapo hoteli ninaenda na kula hapo anaandikia deni mm. nikipata mara moja nakuja na li wewe hey, ilikuwa Yumba challenge nyumba ni share rent uh -huh. nayo na by then ukumbuka na siku hata na mattress zile nguo zangu kuna hizi tu tunaita magwanda hizi za jua kali hizo zenye unafanyia kazi ukisharudi nyumbani na taandika hapo chini Nachukua kama ni slippers yangu nilikuwa nimevalia makiatu ile ya jua kali naweka hapo kama pilo. We. Bora kesho. Wewe umekiona? Eh. Najituma tu pole pole. Mm -hmm. So tukienda hivyo mm hivi. -hmm. Na natamani kujua vile tuendelea hapo pressure ikakuja ikafika wapi hasa ulikibarua uliangukia ama ukakuaje? Eh sikatai wala siongei kwa ubaya. Mimi tangu nitoka shule sijapata kibarua wala kwa kampuni ama maripopote ama serikali ama nini. Imekuwa tu ni hustle since 2008 till today hakuna mahali pe nimeajiriwa eti mimi napata miaka mingi mm. sahihi tuko this is 2021 yeah hiyo ni miaka 10 na ngapi 13 kama hujapata kitu hakuna na ulivumaliza shule ukitarajia eti maybe utapata kitu any man mtu yote mtoto ukienda shule ama mzazi ukipeleka mtoto shule mm. unafikiria anga nampeleka ndiye amalize ni msaidi mm. anisaidia ama ni ajisaidi mm lakini since then hata hakuna help napewa wazazi mimi vile naongea hivi oh. sometimes hata kuongea na mzazi inaweza chukua hata mwezi mm. sababu sana nipigia ya nini ya sina time ya kupiga yeye mmoja hata akinipigia na chukua huyu mtu ni helpless unaona mm. mm. lakini ananipigia na ananiambia mtoto wangu anaendelea aje naambia niko salama sometimes hata akipiga mimi mwenyewe naibika mm. unaweza ibika hata kuchukua call ya mzazi wako sorry because unaweza chukua ujui umeona call ndio hii na kasimu kaja ni katulutulu unaona mm. inafika mahali penye hata kameharibika umepeleka yeah, multi charging si hata blada charging system hata ikiharibika kutengeneza ni ngori no, no, no. no, kitambo unaweza kuta hata kitu Mesto, najua imekuwa challenging sababu hata unapata watu, watu kule nyumbani mm. sometimes una hata do ya kuchaja au katulutulu 
sababu na kwa multi charger charging system imeharibika sasa life imekuwa noma hivi barua na nime, nime you have a family i have Nikona a family kuna mtoto na family si mtoto watoto wait ngoja kidogo mm. ndio nakwambia kwanza kuna wakati imefanyika hapo nyumbani kwetu kwa kijiji mm. by that time nakumbuka simu yangu ilikuwa imeharibika hapo katutu kwa kama ilikuwa charging system mm. ambapo unajua ukipeleka kwa size kwenda kucharge si ten bob Inaweza kuwa una hiyo umeamka na 20 na unataka kukula. Oh, pale mnaisha kuna stima. Hakuna ah, nare. Kuna stima wakati huo. So unapata kitu ilishafanyika nyumbani ambapo ujui unakuja kujua baada ya muda kupita. Kuna watu walikufa nyumbani wawili. Kabla mimi kuja kujua na hasa hakuna mwana nitafuta na ajui mpenye niko hmm. najua walizikwa baada ya kwenda kufungua kale katultundi walikuja kujua eti fulani na fulani walishaenda na walizikwa kuna life ilikuwa ngumu hata family amkuwa in touch kuna venye kuna vile msa zingine amkuwa in touch sasa unajua hata nikwambia hata wewe ukiangalia kwa family yenu yule mwenye anaweza saidiana ni yule mwenye unapigia simu unaweza mwambia iko hivi na hivi unaona which was not the which case. was not uh, ilikuwa tu hivyo hmm. ni kungangana tu life ilikuwa hasa tu sana inabidi ujitume wewe mwenyewe mhm kitume tu kiviako so, tu kama kusettle na mrembo ulikuwa unaambia ulikuwa ikafika mahali uzuri ikafika the year 2013 hmm. tukapatana na rafiki yangu fulani akawa sasa ameniingiza alikuwa na ka site fulani unaona hmm. ikawa tumefanya fanya hapo jua kali jua kali nikapata hela kidogo hmm. sasa nikamia ka nyumba kengi nikaona nikileta mrembo wangu hapa hmm. na ni yule yule tu tulikuwa na high school, high school. Yeah. kuna wakati nilikuwa naweka credit tuna chat na ye. Yaani tunaongea yaani kwa kuongea by then huwezi <laughs> chat yako katututu. Sasa hizi ndio mambo ya chat imekuja. Hata unayosahau useme ku chat ufikiri ni ku chat. Sasa ilikuwa naweka tu kredo maneno mbili habari yako mzuri uko aje niko mimi. Hata yeye mwenyewe wakati wao kwa na simu ilikuwa atumia aunt yake. <laughs> na ni mrembo by the way. Ilikuwa atumia aunt yake. Ambapo sasa hata kuongea nikumwambia hata kuongea na fulani na nikukata. Unajua si wakisi tuna heshima zetu. Huwezi mwambie eti ni nini. Oh fulani eh sawa. Ngoja kidogo nitakuandikia please call me hata hakuna kuflash. Na sasa hizo miaka labda 5 bob ama 10. Mm. Umekopa rafiki nitumie hivi na hivi. Ni ile 2 1 2 3 uko wapi? Iko hivi na hivi sawa mimi niko poa hivyo. So ukamuita akakuja Sasa ndio anakuambia tulipofanya hapo ka site hiyo mimi na huyo rafiki yangu. Mm. Ikawa nimepata hela kidogo. Mm. Nikahamia by then nakumbuka ilikuwa 2013 yeah nikapata around 3000. Mm. Wow. Hiyo sasa ilikuwa ni kama Hiyo ni pesa hiyo. Hii ilikuwa do. Hii ilikuwa do. Wezi oh. nishika hapa. Hapo nimeomoka. <laughs> <laughs> Nika, hapo ni alikuwa anaishi sasa by then kuna alikuwa kama mechanic hapo Kariobangi. Mm. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Eh alikuwa mechanic hapo Kariobangi, alikuwa na training hasa yeye alikuwa anapata kidogo kidogo. Mm. Akaniambia ni aje si ukuja hapa tujidweli hapa kidogo. Mm. Tulia, tulia. Ama tafuta hapa mahali. Nikaona mimi sana stand up kwake tena nikakumbuka ile kitu ile nilifanyikia. Ni rafiki okay. ndio. Mm. Rafiki ni yule yu? Yule ya. Yeah. Siongee tu kwa ubaya. Yeah, Lakini okay. kulingana na akili yangu. Mm. Nikamwambia akanipata pale nikachukua kakeja pale karibu na yeye tukakaa tulip... ka ile kazi iliendelea na kidogo ya urafiki yangu mwingine mm. nikafika mahali nika nimesha rent nyumba nikachukua ile mrembo wangu nikampigia siku moja mm. tukakutana pale town eh? ulimtumia fare kutoka hapo <laughs> wapi alikuwa <laughs> anaishi huko hapo alikuwa amekuja kwa aunt yake alikuwa amekuja kwa aunt yake kumlelea mtoto hapa kaongware eh yeah. na nivo nivo <laughs> aunt yake alikuwa na ka shop sasa angeweza kufanya nini kulea mtoto mm. na yeye afanye kazi yeah, yake nyingine. Sasa ikabidi achukue huyo mke wangu ambaye yeah. sasa ni mke wangu lakini wakati huo alikuwa mtoto wa mm. by then. Yeah. Ya alikuwa mtoto wa mm. wa ndugu yake lakini sasa mimi alikuwa mke wangu. Mm. Kumbe ni advantage. Eh <laughs> umeangukia. Nimeangukia ameshakuja karibu. <laughs> ni hivyo ndio kuoa. Hivyo ndio kuoa sasa. <laughs> Uliwa bi rais aje. Ni bi rais tu. Ikawa tunapigana tunakutana tu hapo town. Eh lakini umesema nyumba ulikuwa umeshatoka. Nyumba ilikuwa ni share rent sasa. Hata kama mattress. Eh nimechukua lakini Mm. Ilikuwa tu si eti ni matope nime improve zaa lakini But sasa nime improve ni sasa yes. mimi najiona sasa kulingana na wakati huo mimi nilikuwa sawa. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. So <laughs> mngakuwa sasa ni umeoa. Nimeoa. Sasa tumefika usha. Tukakutana akawa hata kabla toko usi nienda kuambia aunt yake alitoroka. Wow. Yeye nikamtorosha tukakuja tukaishi na yeye wow. sasa. Na wow. unajua wakati huo sasa wow. by then tuko na mtoto. Oh. Mm. Wow. Nikitoka high school nimetoka na mtoto. Kumbe vile tuliachana alikuwa ameenda na mtoto wangu. We. Ambaye ni firstborn. Mm. Yeah, Mimi jumaisha vile ilipeleka mtoto. Maisha vile ilipeleka tu kwa in touch. Sasa ingekuwa najiweza si nimeshafika 18. Mm. By then kama ni nini ningechukua tukae pamoja. So kwa na life pia uone kitu unangoja mbele, mm. ukaona heri ku settle down once a family. Yeah, yeah. So move vivo. Exact. 
sasa kulifika wapi ukaendelea polepole pole. ni nini umepitia ndio ikuwe hiyo tukakuja naye tukaishi pamoja nikasaa katika ile kadi najua mwanaume naye ni kujituma mm. umeleta mrembo lazima na wewe ujikakamue sasa mm. uone kama unaweza muweze utaki aibu kwa kejuu yeah tukafika hapo tukaendelea na maisha mosmos ile ile kwa hustle nini nini mm. kafika nikamwambia kusema kweli penye nani naona mm. hii life sio poa unaona mm. na tusijieke kiwango fulani na yeye mwenyewe kwanza la, ile kitu nashukuru Mungu alinifeel na akanielewa kwa kuwa mwenye wa kunielewa oh, kabisa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sasa unajua ye, ilifika mahali penye sasa mimi nimetoka naenda ku hustle narudi saa zingine sina saa zingine niko nayo na, na nini nikaona siku moja nikurudi kwa nyumba nikampata yuko nikapata kaki fuli kwa mla nikajiuliza kwani ametoroka Oh. Ametoka sababu ya shida nini? Ah, hiyo ilikuweza. Kuona hiyo nikatulia hapo nikatoka nikaka hata si kuambia marafiki zangu nikakaa tu hapo nje tu tukipiga tu story. <laughs> Daika kidogo ndio naona anatokelezea. <laughs> Nikaona amerudi. Nikamwacha akaingia kwa nyumba akanitusalimia hapa akaingia kejani. Mm. Baadaye kuingia kwa nyumba. Nilikaa tu kwa kitanda si tu kwa naka ki... kiti. kiti ama nini. Mm. Nilikuwa nimenuka kitanda second hand kakaa hapo na mato nikamuuliza bebe unatoka wapi akaniambia hapana mimi niliona kuna mama alikuja akaniambia hapa nilisikia majirani wakiongea mm. kuna kibarua mali ya kufu ya kufua so nikaona hakuna haja nikae kwa nyumba wacha niende sijui vile kama wewe eri sasa sisi tutoke wote hata hii sasa ilifika akajituma akaanza kujituma sasa eh mm. pia anatafuta tafuta tafuta sasa mshikanishe pamoja yeah. sasa ikafika pikipiki ilipita ya kwanza ikapita ya pili ikapita the third one mm. unyenye ndio huyo Alipita tu sasa pande hii ya kuku. Ya huku kwangu penye tuko. Mm. Na tulipopiga makofi tutasangilia yeye kiongozi wewe alitoa mikono nje hivi. Na yeye akapiga. Sasa ni wakati anaingia. Mm. Ah nilifurahia ndani yangu nikasikia leo ni leo. Sijaingia bado hapo ni laki sama ni kama utembee 2 km ndio kufika kwa nini. Hapo tuko junction. Junction. Unaona? Mm. Sasa lazima utembee kama kilomita mbili ndio ufike mahali penye huko chini kwa kichinjio ya Gobonaye. Mm ameingia bado kwa nyumba si, najua hao wasijui kama walijua mke wangu eti anakuja yeah, tukatulia tulia hapo nikaona naye tukakaa nao marafiki zangu tukakaa nao tukakaa nao mm. hey. nikakuja nikafika msafara nikaingia hapo tukashuhudia kidogo vile anaongea nini nini vile mambo inaendelea ratiba na ujua saa hizo njaa naye ananiuma huko mm. umekula si kwa nimekula vile tulitembea tukarudi hapo junction tukakaa hapo rais amepita tumerudi tumefuata yeye mpaka kule mm. nikarudi mpaka kwa nyumba kufika kwa nyumba nikapata mke wangu ah nikamwambia unajua nini kiongozi amekuja leo nuliza kiongozi wangu kaambia kwani kiongozi wako nani kaambia rais amekuja leo anafungua huko chini akaniambia oh nani niambia ile ya chini sababu nakumbuka kuna wakati nilihamianga maisha ilikuja ikakaa ngumu kabisa nikaambia getuamba kuna kijiji naitwa oh. getuamba hey, sasa hapo daily Nilikuwa napita kichinjio mm. nikienda na kusema bado kutafuta ni mahali pe najua vizuri sana mm. hata nilifanya kazi kichinjio siku moja nakumbuka hii kidole vile unaiona hii hii imewongwa hii nikienda kuwekelea mao hivi ikafinywa naona mm. nilikuwa saa tisa nakumbuka vizuri sana so akaenda huko karudi kwa hao nikarudi kwa hao mm. nikakaa kitu ikania kitu ikaniambia toka Juu ulikuwa ni, ni kwa show ulikuwa umetuambia unatamani kumwambia. Kumwambia. Sasa unaona ana ujafaulu. Sijafaulu. Na unajua baada kwa sababu alipita akinisalimia mara ya kwanza. Atatusamia watu lakini mimi niliona personally amesalimia mimi. Sana. Uli on salamu. Nili on salamu. Nilichukua. Nilipiga makofi na hivi tu hivi hivi. Uli personally. Lakini mimi niliona mimi ndiye ameona. Aliniona ukweli sababu vile nilifanya hivi uh, na yeye alifanya hivyo hivyo. Mimi ni aliona response imekuja kwa. Nikajiambia pana. Sijaridhika roho yangu najua. Naenda kumtafuta tena. Nikatoka tu pole pole. <laughs> Siku ana nimebadilisha na ngozi zangu za kutafuta kazi. <laughs> ah nikatoka tu na koti yangu. <laughs> na gampu zangu tu pole pole. Najua unaweza tembea mpaka kiatu hicho za mtaani. Na una kiatu no. na uko na moja. No. Bila so, toka tu ndio hivyo ndio ukipata kazi unaingia na tu nayo vile iko kama ni siwezi gambu tu hivyo hivyo kama ni nini kuhamisha mtu hivyo hivyo mm. katembea tu nikafika junction nikapata marafiki zangu tu bado wametulia pale wengine wamekuja mm. wengine sijui wamechoka wameenda ya lunch sijui wengine wameenda wapi nikakuta jamaa fulani hapa nikamwambia unajua nini mimi naenda kumkuta rais sasa yeye ulijituma kabisa naenda kumkuta rais lazima niwaambie shida zangu 
Aetwa Gibbon. Mm. Wakiwa na Madix. Mm. Wakaniambia waenda si tunamngoja hapa. <laughs> Nikamwambia basi mimi sina pesa ya pikipiki wala basi. <laughs> na namtafuta mguu. <laughs> Ukwambia waangoje. Eh nyi ngojeni hapo. Mimi naenda polepole mpaka nita mkuta. Leo ni ile sisi. Nitaambia tu polepole na unajua sasa hata niko na njaa bado niko siko siko ile eti nimekula hapa nini niko na nguvu. Most 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 nikapiga kona ya kwanza kuna kaa washiko hapo. Mm. Ya, ya pili. Mm. Kufika hapo karibu na Cambridge mm. kabla ni karibia pale kuna kaoninika kwa hapa jamaa fulani anaitwa Boni mm. akona nini hii ya kutengeneza pikipiki oh, garage okay. zinaweza hita hivyo. Mm. Nikasikia kelele kutoka mbe? mbele. Nikaona gari zimeanza kujipanga kwa zinapita tu kwa, kwa kasi na hakuna gari nyingine yenye inapita yani personal. Eyo, ah nikajua sasa msafara ndio inaku. Anakuja. Ju lazima barabara ingekuwa clear. Kuna wewe tayari. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Tunaenda. <laughs> Tutaenda majaliwa. <laughs> sasa ndio nimefika hapo nikaona ah ambulance ikapita. Na nikasema sasa nimefika mwisho. Juu kwa nyumba hakuna kitu nimeacha kusema kweli. Oh. Oh. Mm. Nimeacha bibi na mtoto. Huyo mwingine ameshagonjeka. Yule saa hizi ndiye anamalizia madawa. Hata huyo pili sieti alienda hospitali. Yale madawa huyo mdogo alipewa ya joto ndio walikuja kushare. Sababu nimwambia kama huyo amesikia afueni kidogo, mm. chukua hii dawa pea huyo. Hizi ndio vitu ziko kwa kichwa yako hiyo sasa. Eh. Sasa hapo mimi sioni mtu mimi kwa target yangu iko kwa rais pale. Eh, uju ukikumbuka hizo sioni sio ni chochote. Nikukumbuka huko nataka kumwambia angalau hata nione kama itawezekana namna gani. Mm, leo usaidike. Ah. Nikaona gari zimepita pita, nikaona sasa hapa sasa nikiendelea kutembea wacha tu nitulie hapa. Mm. Hapo tu Ita kwa ma nita <laughs> confuse. Wacha nipime. <laughs> Acha <laughs> nipime yangu yote. Sasa hiyo kwa roho. Roho ina dunda sasa hizo. Mimi hata sioni watu wenye. Nasikia watu wanashangilia hapa lakini mimi mwenyewe niko na target ya. Nataka kumuona rais mwenyewe kwa. Serious? Focus eh. Eh. Yeah. Zilipopita pita hivyo nilihesabu vile nilihesabu kule junction. Eh yeah. oh ya uko umeziona. Yeah. Unajua ni ngapi? Na nilijua kwa kitia mbele. Vile nilisalimia kitia mbele kule junction. Hiyo tu ndio mawazo ilikuwa ndani yangu. Mimi si kukumbuka eti labda anaweza badilisha kiti ama afanye nini. Ama nani? Ama gari ama zinaweza jipanga kwa wa kwanza ama ni nini? Wewe ulikuwa ni yeye. Mimi target yangu ilikuwa yeye mwenyewe binafsi. Na ni shida zangu. Na ni shida zangu ndio zimemuonyesha eh? Ni muone ni mueleze. Sababu nilikuwa najua nikimkuta ni ametatua. Ni kiongozi mwenye nimeona akisaidia wengi. Na ni kiongozi mwenye ukimwambia shida aende aache. Hata na vile nilihesabu na kuingia vile niliingia kwa barabara ni kama nimeinua mikono juu hivi mm. sikujua lakini nilijipata na nilipomuona hivi mm. juu gari lilipiga brake hapa 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 na nikamuona ndio huyu na yeye nikaona na meinama hivi hii hata ikupita hii gari ilikuwa pande hii no, na unajua sasa hizo nimecross barabara kutoka that side to this side Wee. Nimepita hapa kwa tuseme leni ya kwanza, nimeenda leni ya pili. Hiyo ni tu leni. Katikati ya barabara. Mm. Katikati ya barabara. Mm. Nikamuona hivi, nikataa kumuongelesha. Sasa ile nataka kuongea na yeye hivi. Mm. Nikaona security wameshuka ambapo walikuwa wanafanya walikuwa wafaa wafanye kazi yao. Mm. Naona. Mm. Mimi hata sijui vile niliingia, lakini ni Mungu alinifikisha pale uko courageous. Nilikuwa courageous. Sieti courageous, shida zilikuwa zimenituma. Mimi nilikuwa naenda pale. Naona nini hapo sasa? Mimi nilikuwa nataka kuongea na unye. Huko unaogopa. Nimuelezee nguri zangu. Gari akipita juu yako ah. ama ukite security wako. Penye imefika sasa, acha nikuulize. Sasa unarudi kwa nyumba hata kwenda kufanya nini? Ulikuwa ready chenye itakuja ikuje. Unaenda kwa nyumba kufanya nini? Hata kama chakula hujaacha. Mtoto ni mgonjwa, bibi yako pale, wewe ndio tegemeo. Sana, Nyumba yenyewe sio tumelipa uko na balance. Nini hebu mwambie ni nini huyu Mr President. Mm. Nilipona ni yeye na niliona alinama hivi. Akainuka tena. Ndio nakwambia sasa nilipoingia kwa barabara nikamuona hivi. Na nilikuwa nimeinua mikono juu kumaanisha nimesarenda shida zangu zo. Mm, zote. Mm. Nikamwambia rais ambapo sikupata nafasi ya kumuongelesha mm. naona mm. sababu nilikuwa nimeinua mikono juu mm. ndiaone kwamba huyu ni mkenya mzalendo mm. naona mm. hana nia yote mba mm. niko harmless mm. 
sina nia yote mbaya naye lakini nilipoona sina nafasi ya kumwamngelesha sababu security walifanya kazi yao ya kuniondoa lakini nashukuru Mungu alisema wachana huyo kijana wachana na huyo kijana kijana tutaongea niliposikia hivyo nili move out nili follow vile kiongozi wangu amesema <laughs> Najua kisa sema amesema. So ukimwona. Sasa ni anakuambia Mr. Rais. Mm. Ile siku nikisimama mbele ya gari yako. Nilikuwa nimekuletea shida zangu. Ambapo Mr. Rais na kuomba kwa roho ya unyenyekevu. Mimi kama kefa hako kanya mbane. Na kuomba Mr. Rais nimekuchagua nilikuwa nafikiri shida zitaniondokea. Na sasa ninaona zinaniondokea sababu nilipata rusa ya kuonana na wewe tuliangalia na macho kwa macho hivi lakini si kupata nafasi ya kuongelesha chenye naomba kutoka kwako rais naomba hajira naomba hajira ambapo nikishapata ya hajira najua familia yangu pia itakuwa inapata riziki chakula itapata na hata matibabu tuseme wakigonjeka siku moja nitakuwa na hela ya kuwapeleka hata hospitali mr rais naomba kwa roho ya unyenyekevu uweze kunisaidia ukinisaidia Mungu atakubariki Mr. Rais tayari umebarikiwa ni vile uko umenifikia mimi unisaidie na kuomba Mr. Rais tafadhali nisaidie sikufanya chochote with a bad intention it was problems that forced me to do that one na naomba msamaha kwa wakenya wote wenye wameandika facebook twitter nini eti mimi nilikuwa under the security sijui nina threat rais Hakuna kitu cha ilikuwa ndani yangu kibaya. Nimeomba msamao wa Kenya wote mnisamee kama nilifanya kitu kibaya. Nimeshukuru. Wow. That is so great. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I'm getting emotional myself. Uh, so when we are bashing sasa ile tunasema alifanya nini pale huko tumemsikiza from his horse's mouth from himself kefa mwenyewe anasema ni njaa ni shida ni pressure life unajua mental health is real depression stress ni real ukisikiza story yake na unaona familia yake na vile ametupigia story yake kwenye amefika ni ukweli ujasiri shida ilimsukuma si ujasiri it was not disrespect to the presidents and the security it was out of pressure he is looking for help na sisi tukiwa hapa like well wishers wengine wetu kama unaweza mfikia tutapeana namba yake pale atatuambia na bado kwa description nitaandika namba yake contact zake vile unaweza mfikia umemwona kuna mtoto mchanga kuna mwingine kwa shule yeye mwenyewe ako hapa kabla tufikie president wa Kenya tunapendana na tuko watu wa umoja wa Kristo wa Islam ambao Muislamu alikuwa anampa nyama so it doesn't matter who Kenyans we are one love kama uko na kitu ya kumfikia nitaandika description namba ya kefa pale reach out to him unasikia anafanya hustle ni mjengo anafanya kibarua nitaitisha mke wake I will invite the wife she will tell us uh, her also her story at least to confirm tumekuja na yeye ndio confirm ako na familia is a family man he is not a threat to security ni mwananchi wa kawaida ni shida ilimsukuma kwa barabara so unaona kitambo mwanaume ajitume afike hapo you will agree with me or viewers hiyo ni i think it's the last option mtu akifika hapo ni mwisho and because we, we are blessed with a good president our leader is good tunajua yule ambaye anatusikiza unaweza mfikia president imfikie rais hashtag <laughs> imfikie rais kesa bado anamtafuta ajamuona anataka kumuona na anamheshimu na anataka kumuona tu juu ya shida zake na naona ni yeye tu anaweza msolvia kwenye amefika so let's save a life let's give them hope let's put a smile on their faces wako na watoto wa rembo sana they have a family kama unaweza mshika mkono wa mama in fact ladies watching this you see this lady she's a very lovely very young she has all the needs that women do have ni juice tu tume celebrate mother mother's day unamwona venyaka amejituma she's trying all her best to usimamisha hii ndoa out of love for marriage and remember to subscribe to this channel we are consistent it's the best content we are giving you we are also giving back to the community and this is our best way to support each other and to support people around us so namkaribisha mke um, wake you've seen her but I will allow her to talk and to tell her who what's her name na kwa hapa yeye mwenyewe ajiongelele yes na salimia wote nyote amjambo okay kwa majina anaitwa Lydia Bosiguri Nyangao mimi ni mzaliwa wa Kisii County. Nimesikia hiyo story yote kwa nyambane ni mume wangu. Tumeona na yeye, tumezaa watoto watatu. 
Nakana eh. Na
24/7 nitakuwa niko on. Sababu mnajua amefeel kitamba afike kwangu, amefeel hata ye. I welcome msaada yoyote. Ya kazi, ya chakula, ya anything. Mmesikia nina watoto bado sijalipa school fees. Nyumba ndio hiyo bado niko karibu kufungiwa. Mimi am the breadwinner. Hata mmoja kuna madawa lakini nisijui kama unaweza nisaidia. Maybe before yule mmoja nimeacha kwa nyumba lakini najua ni joto naomba Mungu atamsaidia. Hata ingawa ningepata hata kidogo ninua hata syrup ama nimpeleke chemist ya pimwe ikue sawa. Tafadhali nawaomba nyinyi wote popote mlipo. Msione nilifanya hicho kitendo sababu ya kupenda wala nini. Nilifanya hivyo sababu ya shida ambapo nilipata familia nikafikiria eti nitaishi nayo salama lakini sasa shida zimekumba zaidi mpaka ikabidi nifanye kitendo hicho kulingana na akili yangu na kulingana na vile nilikuwa nataka msaada kutoka kwa rais kabla rais anisaidie wa Kenya wenzangu hata nyinyi mmeniona haimaanishi ni rais peke yake ni atanisaidia nyinyi ni wa Kenya wenzangu mwenye ako nacho shukuru Mungu amekupa wewe mm. wengine hatuna shukuru Mungu amekupa wewe thank god nisaidie tafadhali nami familia yangu ifurahie Nimeshukuru na nimewalika kwangu. Mungu awabariki. So guys, uh, me I'm emotional at that point and I know you too watching this. Uh, we can't pretend to be nadamu ndani yetu. Tusijifanye hatuoni. Mtu anajifanya unaona, mtu mkora pia unaona. Uh, mtu anafanya out of disrespect unaona. And we are talking of mental health with covid with it all pressures that you are going through all of us i know ni kubaya lakini hii tusidanganyane at least you are better off if you have to share one extra that you do have yeye amefika hapo wala psychologist i have doctors and i know you are watching this reach out i will be glad if you will attend to him because naturally tukimsikiza story yake bado anafaa ongeleshwe pia jua msukumo ya maisha penye amefikia they need to, to be talked to, they need to be attended to extra, emotionally, psychologically. But besides food, let's also pray we are Christians, wale wanaomba, tushukuru mungu, but tuwambe na vitendo, tuwaombe, tukiwa support. So na washukuru, keep subscribing, this is the best place you can be. If you have a story that you want to share, reach out to me, so that we can share your story and reach other people. Share this story to many of your content so that it reaches other people, so that Kefa and his family can get help out of this act, act of bravery. It was an act of bravery. To see Danganyane, he in attacka gut. So, iyo kitendo yake, wacha i change life yake. Dio to see seme watoto, don't copy this, don't try this at home. He's doing this out of pressure and challenges of life. So, duwa Kenya ebu tumu, dumi ya mejitoa, tunasema mwenye naomba, Atapewa. Na mwenye nagonga mlango ifunguliwe. So let's reach out, let's show love to this family by liking this video, sharing it, and engage with us on your comments. God bless you and we love you so much. Thank you. Amen.